Kurt Young could have been in no, the no, A-team as well. Well, uh, this is possible, but Joe, yeah. if I'm not mistaken, you've come on here with some interesting ideas in the past. Make no yes. mistake about it. Maybe Jay, as a regular Winnipeg Park viewer, you've seen some of them. Yes, I have. Yes, yes. And, and they were good ideas. Today, you have a new one. Yes. I surrender the floor to you, yes. sir. Brilliant ideas. Brilliant. Oh, yes. Uh, uh, yes. Oh. <laughs> what will I think of that? Anyway. <laughs> <laughs> uh, folks, uh, my idea nowadays uh, involves language. Because as I like to say, there's the stone set on Main Street. Your mouth don't move, I can't hear you speak. So I have invented a new language. A new language. Like which, miming. Yes, which I call Yosiferanto. Yosiferanto. Yo it's a new language I have invented. A language, an international language, a language for everyone, and a language for today. Because, you see, the problem, what's the problem with languages, okay? The problem with languages is they're very particular, okay? Uh, this new language you'll see for Arantu, as you can see here, is a language that can be used by everybody, everywhere, every time, because it's removed the thing that makes languages so particular, specifically words. words. It's a new language that uses no words, because no what words. are words if not just symbols for things? So in you'll see for Arantu, we just use things instead of words. Okay, for example, let's say, let's say you're hungry, okay? You see for Arantu, okay? It's, you just do this. Specifically, you mean you want you want a banana. You just hold up a banana, and you want to show that you want a banana. So you carry around a banana with yeah, you to, in case you want a banana. But that could be a little bit of a problem because you kind of already have the banana. Well, you know what you could do. Yeah. Maybe you could just hold up a picture of a banana instead. No, because if you take the language too literally, then you could be asking for another picture of a banana. Or in fact, just so, a picture in general. But yeah. wouldn't you have problems with you know? carrying the banana and also with it getting bruised and well, then of course have, you getting have to come you have to come prepared that's certainly another i admit there are bugs but that he, have to be worked out of this language but if you want a banana you, just, you carry a banana so you ask oh uh, now another question i have is if if you want a banana yeah. and you show them the banana you would already have the banana so why would you want another I know, see, banana see that's the thing it works best i admit it, it has bugs it works best if you want to, to have two bananas and you have one banana, so you're kind of asking for the other banana. Well, I, I'm, I'm coming back yeah. to carrying this picture, but I'm worried that you said you could take the picture literally. Maybe, maybe they might even think, I, it's you know when you get a picture frame and it has a generic image of, like, oh, you may say a banana in it? They might think you're actually looking for a new picture frame. Actually, Frank, I, I, I can't, uh, I, I want to get back to this. You might think it's that Velvet Underground album. And Nico? The banana I, on the cover. I, or Donkey Kong Country. I, I'm st <laughs> I'm st <laughs> I'm still having trouble with the concept of, of holding up the banana. If you wanted well, another you banana, why didn't you take an, uh, an extra banana with you? Well, well then it's, it's as if you need a banana. You're at, it's at, I, I, if you need, I mean, I, I can I, understand I, needing a banana, I, but I does admit, anyone actually need two I admit, bananas? I admit, well, you never know. You've got two hands. You know, I, I admit, folks, I admit, folks, that it's not the best for making requests. It's better for declarative sentences, as I shall demonstrate. Because you can have intellectual conversations with uh, in UC Ferranto, for example. You can, uh, can we see this? I've just, in we'll UC Ferranto, said, you know, for, through my knowing look and holding this up, have you ever read William Shakespeare's Hamlet? You N see? Now, there could be a problem in that, too. I know, because you have to read to know Language. the book is Hamlet. Words. So I admit it's so far imperfect, especially because this is actually a Polish version of Hamlet. Showing that languages are difficult. Maybe but, later on, Jake can read some Polish Hamlet for us. Perhaps. Perhaps I will. But beyond that, though, like I said, it works better in declarative uh, sentences. Can so. you give us an example of that? Of well, a, give me a sentence. Give me a sentence. Um, what about something along the lines of, have you seen any herring? herring? Have you seen any herring lately? Okay. All right. All right. All right. Have you seen any herring lately? Okay. A common question. You see? see? Seen any herring lately? It, this is actually a shoe. A shoe. But, but it's, it's, see, it's a red herring. That's I would probably think, have you seen a shoe? Well, that it's a red. Well, you know, have you watched say, Get Smart? You know, That's where yeah. language would yeah. come in handy. Yeah, well, you know, there's always a bigger fish. <laughs> now, I see yet another possible problem here, I have to admit. Um, if I could, if I may. Uh, there's, there's, I mean, there's some, there's some credence to this idea. I think it's creative. I have to wonder, 
And I'm thinking you're wondering, Jay, yes. it's, all, it's all right maybe, or a banana, I want a banana. It's best with but what, what about more abstract concepts? Not, not everything's concrete. What about a, an abstract concept like, like happiness? This is how you would express happiness in Yossi Ferranto. Wouldn't, wouldn't it be easier just to smile? No, because in some cultures that doesn't necessarily mean happiness. Some cultures smiling actually means you're yeah. in pain. Exactly. And it, but it, could well, it you get turned upside down, and then you have a man with curiously arched eyebrows, I guess. Curiosity. <laughs> or you can do it like this, and it's a sort of uh, indistinct symbol in, in a sort of hieroglyphic sort. language. But, but you can represent, you can represent, this just goes through, you can ab represent abstract concepts. Without language. Through Yossi Ferranto, and you can even actually discuss uh, the works of Greek philosophy, provided you have a, a, a Plato finger puppet. And you'll see Ferranto. But how many people have a Plato finger puppet? But, well, when you see Ferranto well, catches on, there'll be more, yeah. you know? Yeah. Mm -hmm. And they have yes. with all the great Greek philosophers. You can have Aristotle one, Plato and Aristotle can fight it out. You can have Zeno and all those people, Pythagoras, all the great philosophers. I think we have Plato right here. Oh. I can feel the winds of change already. Mm. <laughs> I can as well, says Plato. But He's you're, you're talking. speaking. All right, well, okay, there's some bugs <laughs> we work on this language. There is something that, but we well, let's still remember, nevertheless, folks, think it's, the real point is, the real point of the language is. Yes? Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> you see? You and it's up to you, words, isn't it? You it's don't need words to, you to decide. The language. It's up to exactly. you to decide from there what the, the real point of language is. Yeah. Well, I would like to uh, thank you, or if there were some way I could do that subverbally. <laughs> We go like that. Could, could, could you do this with that, with that uh, happiness? Yeah, and, yeah, that and was that.